Good morning, families. I am going to give you a really quick tutorial about our new way to complete our forms for our sports programs. I'm going to use my daughters as a sample. So if we log into PowerSchool and you choose a student, you're gonna come over here to forms and you're going to see the home screen that has all of your forms there. What you'll notice is that we have an, a whole section now just for athletics. So there are seven forms or consents that have to be completed. So if we open up the first um, form, this is a participation checklist. You can see that the forms run along the top and this is kind of the cover letter. So you would enter your name here, the date, and the student's name and date, and then um, go through each form. As you hit submit, you will move to the next form. You can also jump back and forth to each form. The second form is our consent form about con concussions. We have linked in all the resources that you need to view and um, review. At the bottom, there is um, a drop down for the sports and activities you want your student to participate in. Choose as many as you think they might be interested in playing. We have our third form, which is the sudden cardiac arrest form. Again, another mandate by CAAC. It has the information here that we need to form, uh, fill out as well, and the links that you can access to review the information. Again, your name, the sports that your student may participate in. If they change their mind and they choose not to participate in the sport, or you didn't select a support and they want to do it in the future, this is not set in stone. Um, we can edit at this as we move forward. We have our fourth form, which is our um, medical um, authorization for emergency medical use. Really, really important because this document will be traveling with our coaches. The beautiful thing about this program is that if you have um, already done some of your health forms, some of this information will already populate. So again, this is like the cover sheet that travels with our coaches. So really important that we have all of this up-to-date, accurate information. Form five is our permission to participate form, another requirement of CIAC. So this is a qu really quick one that you can jump through. Then we have our impact letter. And again, impact is the tool that is used um, to assess students um, and their level after, before sustaining a concussion and getting a baseline, and then after, um, if a student um, has a concussion, how we can really measure um, the impact of the concussion. Our final form here is form seven, which is the impact consent form. We ask you that you navigate through this website and watch these videos so that you truly understand the impact process. So the forms are really easy to um, fill out. So if you have any questions, please reach out to the main office and we will walk you through the completion of the forms.